So this woman pulls up to a Starbucks drive-thru and she starts trauma dumping on the barista. Today is um, National Day of Remembrance for homicide victims and my husband was brutally killed. And then she starts crying, making the whole thing uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> Then she turns the camera around on the poor barista. You say hi to people? And she's holding a camera the whole time, so she's doing this while she's crying, which just makes it extra awkward. But here's where the story gets crazy. So she posts that video to TikTok, and it goes viral. And people are like, Why are we trauma dumping to a 16-year-old barista? I don't want to hear about your dead relatives, your dead husband. Social media is making people crazy. Then people start combing through her TikTok, and they notice she makes a lot of videos about- I lost my husband. My husband was killed. My husband was murdered. My husband was brutally murdered. And that's really tragic. But the internet is one big sociopath and they start digging into this story and they find it's true. He was killed in a homicide 13 years ago in 2010. The murder was actually pretty big news in Florida, so shout out to Florida. But here's what else they found. They start looking at the obituary and they notice there's no mention of a wife. He also has a Facebook memorial page from 2010 and there's no mention of any wife there. And that is where the drama starts. Spoiler alert, she's probably not the wife. There is no mention mention of a wife or girlfriend. His family don't know you. One TikToker, Bush Muncher, great name by the way, even made a 10 minute breakdown of all this. She may or may not be lying about this person being her husband in the first place. Okay, but why would Trauma Dump Lady lie about being married to this guy? Well, they argue that she allegedly has a book coming out soon, a book about him. This is where she started to realize, maybe I can monetize his death. Okay, let me stop you right there, because these accusations are getting pretty wild. So I did a deep dive into this whole thing to see if this conspiracy holds any weight. And here's what I found. So Bush Muncher and the others were actually right. There's no mention of any wife on the Facebook memorial page. They were also right about the obituary. There's no mention of a wife or fiance or girlfriend. It even mentions aunts, uncles, cousins, friends. Still, no wife. But then I saw this. On that obituary, way down at the bottom, I found a note posted in 2010 by Trauma Dump Lady, and it references their alleged engagement. I also found this video she made where she clarifies that she and him were engaged and not all marriages are on paper. Then I found this old photo photo online of him and her together. And that is where I stop digging because that's enough evidence for me. Like, I don't want to dig into this person's past anymore. Like, it feels weird. So yes, the two of them likely had some kind of romantic relationship in the past, marriage or otherwise. And she's dealing with losing him the way she's dealing with it. And yeah, we all agree that the trauma dumping at Starbucks is a little much, but maybe the TikTok mob needs to chill with the conspiracies.